Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at retargeting BVH files or motion capture files onto the Avastar character. Now this is a pretty simple process, at least they made it uh, really simple. And the first thing I'm going to do is change my avatar. So I want to change it to a male instead of this female shape. So let's change it to male. And then I'm going to go over to Avastar. I'm going to make sure that I select retarget. So we'll hit retarget and that'll put us into the different bones that are easier to use for retargeting. Then I'll go to the second layer and I'll import a BVH. I'm going to go to a folder where I have animations that I downloaded from the Second Life website, from the Second Life wiki. Now you can get a set of animations. Uh, most of these animations are animations that are built into Second Life. So you have access to all these animations and you can use them to make new animations or um, for whatever you want. So I'm going to use one of these animations and I'm going to use the Muscle Beach animation, Avatar Muscle Beach, and we'll import that. Now if we back out, you can see this character is extremely large. Or we want to go to the animation tab and then we'll just hit match scales and then we can hit period to zoom in and then we can go to object mode select all the bones we'll show the first layer with the character and I think I want to get rid of the body so if I drop down this top window and I open up the avatar I scroll down you'll see upper body lower body head I want to get rid of all this eyeballs too and now I will select the other rig the animation rig and select all and now I'll go down here to pose I'll go clear uh, transform all and that's gonna lower him because his center for the for the BVH file was there now I'm just going to raise him up. Remember I'm in pose mode, so I'm actually raising the animation up. Not the whole animation, just this frame. And now once I've lined him up with the Avastar character, I want to hit I and lock rot. Actually I'll go I lock rot scale. While we're on the BVH, uh, we might as well shorten the timeline. You can see this lighter area this is how much the timeline is going to show. But we only need up to 100 frames. So we're going to change this end frame to 100. And then we'll go to the first frame again. And we'll select the Avastar character. Now we'll go to pose mode. And we'll select all. And we'll create a keyframe, so I lock rot. And if we look over in the Avastar window, or the animation window, we want to show bone matching. We can have it guess. So any animation that I bring in from that folder, which I got from Second Life with all the animations, um, will come in just like this. It'll it properly guesses. Of course, this top one we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then we're going to scroll down to the bottom. Our reference frame is not frame 0, it's frame 1, and we've already matched scale. So we are all ready to transfer. Okay, so we just transfer the animation, and there we go. You can see them on both bones, and if we go into... I'm just going to select that layer with the Avastar character. Now I'll go into the animation layout. And here's our BVH animation, our motion capture, with all of our bones and everything. 
So now that we brought that in, I'm going to save that in the animation editor or action editor. And I'm going to add one to the list here. I'm going to call this Muscle Beach. And I'm going to hit F on this. Now I'll save this. I'll save it under Blender Animation. I'll save it as, I'm going to save this blend file as Avatar Animation. The animation is saved now. If we look in this drop down, we see Muscle Beach with that F next to it. And now we'll go back to this action, Avatar Action. And now we still see all this, but we want to get rid of it because we've already saved the animation in this blend file. So we'll hit X, get rid of all these keyframes. And we'll go back to our default page just because it's easier to work with here. And now we'll add in a new animation. So we'll get rid of this BVH. Go to object mode delete it. So now we'll bring in a different animation and this is a motion capture that I created. So we're going to go to a different folder here. Um, dancing maybe? Let's do some quirky dancing. Um, rocker. Let's go for a rocker. So if we back out now, we brought in that animation and it's really tall again. And if we look over in our animation tab, we can see it lost the source. So all we have to do is click this. Now we have our new rocker dancing animation source. And it happened to match up all the bones. So uh, I didn't have to do that, even though I'm going to erase them and show you how to match up the bones. What do we want to do? We want to match scale. So let's hit period. Now we'll show the Avastar character. Now this is this animation I brought in is a little off, so I will move him. Try and line him up pretty good. So that looks pretty good to me. And maybe a little forward. There we go. Okay, let's change our frames because now we have 270 frames. So let's go 270. Maybe that's 269, 269. All right, we'll go to our first frame again. We have a T. We'll go to uh, pose mode. We'll select all. And actually, we'll go to the Avastar rig again, and we'll change the bones so we can see this better now. We'll go to stick mode. Then we'll go to this BVH file. And here, I'll show you how to match up these bones. Here, here we go, clear. Let's select a bone, uh, the torso bone, or whatever they're calling it. So we have torso here around this mid bone. We're going to select that. We go to the chest bone. We see chest here. We select that. In the middle here, we have a hip bone. If you look at the bottom, this says hip bone. This also says the animation that you're on, the character. So we're on hip right here. And hip will go in the cog slot and the pelvis slot. If we go up to the top, we have the left arm left shoulder, left collar shoulder, and forearm, and the hand. On the leg we have the left hip, and this says ankle, but that's really the foot. So we did half, we still have a head to do here, so neck and head, and now we can mirror it. So over here we have mirror copy. This will add the right side to everything. And we our reference frame is frame one. 
Now, before we do anything, I want to go back to Avastar, and just to make sure, I'm going to hit retarget again. And I'll have to go back to pose mode and back to my animation tab. And now I'm going to select all and hit I, lock rot. And now I can transfer this animation. Transfer it. And this is a motion capture, and it's pretty long, so it does take a lot longer than normal. But there's the animation. It looks a little fast. I probably imported it with a different uh, frames per second. It's probably something closer to 20 frames per second, and this is at um, this is at 24 frames per second. But let's go into the. Let's just select. Have our avatar, and we'll go into the animation layout we'll select all and here's all of our bones and all the keyframing for this animation so let's save this just like we did before we'll go into the action editor we will rename this so I'll name this uh, rocker dance and then I'll hit F so that's gonna save this in this the, we have two animations that we created so it's going to save that in this animation or in this blend file and I can go back to my action um, option and have a clear palette to work with so now we can go back to default and we can upload another animation but so here now we saved a, a couple animations we'll save this blend file and now we'll open up a new one and see if we can retrieve those animations so let's open up a new. We'll um, get rid of the cube, of course. We'll add in an Avastar character. We'll focus in. And now we will go to pose mode. We'll go to our animation palette, our animation layout. We'll go to append. Here is that blend file avatar animation so we just click that we go to the action folder oh, there's the rocker dance and we'll bring in that muscle beach so we'll go to action editor we'll choose one of those options so we'll go to this one now and I'll bet this one works yep see um, we'll go to the muscle beach one and just like that we can switch between animations in a totally different blend file. So that's how you retarget and save animations. Have a good one, everyone.